today I'm very lucky I'm with Dr. Jen the renowned pediatrician from New York City and I'm getting the nitty-gritty on some things that we need to know about kids health so I know every other parent knows every pregnant person knows that everybody gives you this advice they tell you it's absolute fact that you must follow I want to know which is fact and which is fiction okay Got so it. the first one never wake my sleeping baby so in general, that's correct. Okay. You really don't want to wake up your baby if they're sleeping. You don't need to put your newborn on a schedule. You need to sort of take their lead, um, feed them when they want to be fed. Okay. But you do want to make sure they're feeding at least every three or four hours, especially if you're breastfeeding. But you don't need to wake them. What about, I'm going to keep my baby awake all day long. <laughs> that little baby's tired at night and sleeps all the way through. Does that work? So definitely don't advise that. Because what's going to happen is a cranky baby during the day and a cranky baby up at night. Because they have their days and nights mixed up. So in, in fact, babies who sleep during the day actually will sleep better at night as well. What about this one? I am going to spoil my baby if I pick them up too much. So you can't spoil a newborn, that's wrong. So, you know, babies need to be held and to be cuddled and to be uh, fed. And so really, you can't spoil your newborn. They don't have any bad habits yet. So do whatever you want to do. Love them, kiss them, squeeze them. Um, and it's okay, actually, to put them down, too, though. Okay, what about this one? I need to entertain my baby all the time. That's so me. I'm like... <laughs> Do I need to entertain my baby all the you time? You don't need to entertain your baby oh. all the time. I mean, it's great, obviously, you're going to give them comfort and you're going to be there for them, but you don't have to entertain them 24-7. If they're happy and they're, they're swaddled and they're comfortable and then you want to put them down in their bassinet and they're in a safe environment, you totally can put them down. You know, try to get a little rest for yourself, too. It's really hard to have that little mommy time because it's exhausting. Okay, what about those people, I know you're out there, that tell you when you take your newborn outside, sweetie, you shouldn't have your newborn outside. Are they right? So you definitely can take your baby outside. Look, my first actually was born in the winter, and I had the doorman staring at me. I'm like, I'm a pediatrician. I know what I'm doing. Um, but they're like, how can you go outside? It's freezing. But again, if they're dressed appropriately, it's totally fine to go out for a little walk. What you don't want to do is go to crowded stores and restaurants where all those little hands of people are going to be touching your baby saying, oh, let me see your cute baby. Um, but if you want to go out for a little walk around the block, totally fine to do. Now, what about those people that may have accused me of being a germaphobe for not letting anybody come over and see my newborn baby? Was I crazy? Well, a little. <laughs> I am definitely, as anyone knows me, not a germaphobe. I think germs are sometimes good. We need some of them, but not for newborns. Okay. So you really want to keep anyone who's sick, who's got a runny nose, fever, cough, even kids away from your newborn. So you know, kind of keep it just to the uh, close relatives and family. Now, so confusing. Temperatures, fevers, what is a temperature for a newborn baby? So a fever in a newborn baby, and that's for a baby up to three months old, is 100.4. So it's not okay. really that high. So if your baby seems, you know, cranky, you don't have to keep taking the temperature all the time. But if your baby seems cranky or not feeding well, and you think they feel warm, take the temperature, because 100.4 definitely is a trip to the doctor. Okay, this is one of my favorite ones. Honey, breastfeeding is natural, and it's going to be so easy. Not. I mean, some people it may be easy for, but in general, it takes time, it takes work. Look, your milk doesn't even come in right away, right? right? So you're feeding and feeding and you're waiting and you're worried that your baby's not getting anything. So it takes some time. So relax, keep on trying, and, uh, you know, don't give up. Right, so you shouldn't be disappointed if it's not super easy at first. Right, it's usually not super easy. Okay. <laughs> what about this? My baby can't speak. They just cry. How will I know what my baby wants? Right, so it's difficult at the beginning, you know, everyone wants to know what does my baby want and does this cry mean this and does this cry mean that and, you know, at the beginning you just really don't know because pretty much they cry all the time, <laughs> right? Um, so usually what I tell parents, you know, have a little system, a method of trying things, you know, pick them up, see if they just want to be held. It may be that they need to be fed um, or that their diaper needs to be changed. So, you know, just kind of have to try it till you figure it out. Cycle through it. So Cycle hungry, through. tired, dirty diaper, bored, could that be one? Want to be held. Want to be held. Any, anything else? Burp! Oh, and they might need to burp too. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you for letting us know what is fact and what is fiction. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com. And if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.